Warning. Warning. Critical system error detected in jump four. Overload imminent. Immediate shutdown advised. Initiating emergency jump core shutdown sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop! Foolish human! You're not ready for this level of danger yet. If only you had an omnipotent intergalactic space wizard like me on hand to show you the ropes. Oh, all right then. I'll help you out. It looks like your ship has broken down. Oh dear. If you want to get out of here alive, your primary objective should probably be to... Repair the jump core. Warning. Unknown vessel detected. Probably. A mysterious alien ship. How intriguing. You're about to experience your first alerts. Happy days. Although I should probably warn you. Alerts are bad. 100%. Stand by for damage. They've launched fighters. How adorable! Surely such a tiny little thing couldn't possibly pose a threat to a big fancy starship like yours. Alien ships are bad. Increased by 10%. Well, well. Your ship's systems seem kind of fragile. You'll probably want to repair that ASAP if you like being able to survive. System damage is bad. Gravity schmavity. You don't have to worry about this lame old anomaly. You've got a fancy teleporter to zip about the ship with. Let's just hope it stays functional, because otherwise... Anomalies are bad. Aliens just shot your soldier in the face. She'll need to visit the infirmary to get that looked at. What's worse, if more than 12 aliens board your ship, you are dead. Your ship is taking fire, and look! There's that fighter from before. It's adding to the damage. How annoying. Better not let your shields go below zero. Otherwise, you are dead. I appreciate that this may all be too much for your feeble human mind to take in. So let's do a quick recap. More than 12 aliens dead. Shields all gone. Dead. Jump core to 100%. Live! Got that? Good. Now, on with the destruction. Looks like more alerts are on the way and they can really mess with your crew. We'll get back to them later because the first thing you need to do if you want to survive is... Know your ship! Now, now, don't do anything rash. Take your time to assess the situation. Click and hold those little buttons at the side of the screen to inspect your systems. I'd recommend you start with the external scanners. There you go. It's not so hard. Why not press and hold the other systems to learn more? 
Or don't, it's your funeral. Just hit the play button again when you're ready to take charge of the crew. What have you done to my ship? Who is this up here? Chief Engineer? Huh? Mm, she sounds important. Let's take a closer look at her stats. Now then, if you pay attention to the diagram above, you'll notice that Chiefy here has got four actions to spend and not one, but two engineering discounts. So let's put them to good use. Three. CPU recycles needed for full... Am I a mistake, mon ami? There's just one last dreadfully boring diagram before we get cracking. Here are your basic moves you can do with just actions. No ship systems or skills required. Have a quick squeeze and then let's get to it. Hostile ship. No more diagrams from now on, I promise. Let's spend one of those lovely actions to get Chiefy to the cargo hold. Just click on the room to beam her right there. Of course. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Your crew will always use the teleporter as long as it's online. Now, click on the cargo pod and let's grab some cool gear. Caution. Detecting two. Unknown what are you hiding in there, buddy? Such a selection of gadgetry. Each one can be used twice, with a different effect each time. If you want to repair the jump core, why not grab a torch? Why, thank you! Wonderful! We should have everything we need to repair the core now. Just click on Engineering to beam back over there. We can do it! The jump core is the heart of the ship. You'll need to repair it to escape, so let's not procrastinate. Click on the core to inspect the damage. Of course! How embarrassing! Even with the Chief's engineering discount, we don't have enough skills. Hang on. Click on the torch to fire it up. Then repair that jump core. Low torches ain't just for creme brulee, you know. Oh, did the nasty aliens fire their lasers at you? Oh, don't worry. You didn't think I'll make it would you all be that easy, did there. you? The core has to be at 100% for your ship to escape. Unfortunately, the Chief doesn't have any actions left, so it's time to end your phase. That should keep this ship from blowing up. For a while, at least. Danger. Power grid unstable. Did I mention there would be more alerts? Your teleporter is going to blow. And remember that anomaly from earlier? It's about to make your life very difficult. She fixed the core and all she got for it was an electric shock in the back. Let's hope the soldier fares a bit better, eh? She's exactly where she needs to be. So click on the armory to zoom in. 
Those ill-mannered aliens have roughed up our girl. Hmm. Maybe she can use the security station to get her revenge. Don't forget to mention, you can't do anything with aliens in the room. In fact, your options here are limited to A, teleport away like a chicken, or B, punch them all in the face. Fortunately, option B is the soldier's speciality. Let's try that instead, shall we? Come, get some! Justice is served. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded crew member. Unfortunately, you still can't use any systems because the soldier is injured. So let's get her to the infirmary. Gravity increased. Must move. Well, that took way more actions than usual. That's increased gravity for you. But you made it to the infirmary. Well done, you. Now, select the trauma station to get that flesh wound checked out. Roger that! You humans seem to get injured an awful lot. No wonder you invented this thing. You can select any injured crew member in the infirmary and heal them right up. You might want to check the external scanners before you end your turn. I have a nasty feeling they might be about to blow up. A scan in time saves nine, as they say. Standing down. Override available. Activate countermeasure. I hate to say I told you so. If only there was something you could do. But there is. With the soldier's command discount, you have enough skills to override the alert. Normally, you'd have to be quick about it, but I've frozen time, so you don't have to worry about that pesky countdown. Outstanding work, soldier. Your quick thinking has saved the ship's scanners. Now, back to certain doom in the icy depths of space. The bizarre phenomena at work on this ship. Finally, a life form with a bit of panache. That increased gravity was rather tiresome, wasn't it? Good thing the cyborg here is immune. Let's science the heck out of that anomaly. To the CPU core! Compliance. Teleport offline. The computer is the best place to get skills. But oh dear, it only holds 12 of each type, and that's nowhere near enough to fix the core. Don't panic. The CPU will recycle you skills when empty or repaired. So recycle or die. Let's take a look. Yes. <sighs> Your internal sensors are on the fritz. You could chance it and grab a random skill from the computers, but why take the risk? Let's get those sensors fixed with that nice red tactical skill I see in your pocket. Interfacing with ship systems. Operational capacity reestablished. That's more like it. Best not to leave these things to chance, eh? To get rid of those pesky anomalies, we need science. So grab one from the sensors and let's be on our way. Skill assimilated. Great stuff. The terrifying and mysterious peculiarities of deep space are no match for you, are they? Let's zoom out and get to the science lab before another anomaly pops up, eh? Let 
you could spend all those lovely science skills on a flashy system upgrade instead. It's a shame you've got more important things to worry about. Grab your lab coat and select the research station. That's the ticket. Who needs enhanced shields or predictive monitoring anyways? Select the increased gravity anomaly and then hit research to restore your ship's artificial gravity to a balmy 9.81 meters per second squared. A simple matter of quantum entanglement. Excellent. Normality has been restored. Now, assimilate the crew and take command of the ship. Just kidding. You're out of actions anyway. Why not just end your turn instead? Activating rest mode. Warning. Enemy ships are charging rounds. That fighter. Again? I really hope this tutorial covers torpedoes. Spoiler alert. It does not. Work together, we can beat. Well, anything. hello, counselor. Love the hat. Teleporter. Have now we met before? Detective. Ah, I see your Whatever special ability has already there. given you an extra action because a soldier is nearby. But before we use it, let's check the shields. Forty percent, eh? Mm, that's not good. But it looks like you need one more tactical skill to repair them. Time to fire up the comm system. Hostile ships detected. Let's see now. Please Who has one of those little army. red tactical skills? Well, that's lucky. Our old pal Chiefy has one spare. Go back to the main view, click on her to bring up her deets, then initiate a trade. We can do it! Jump for power. At 60%. Let's talk baggage. Thank you. Thanks, Chiefy. Try and keep the comm system operational, otherwise, you'll have to be in the same room to trade skills. Now, get that fabulous hat to the bridge. Of course. Teleporter offline. Well, well, that is one comfy looking chair. Chief, what were we doing there. again? Oh yes, Please repairing the shields. We don't want them to run out now, do we? Otherwise, kerboom. Yes. The shield seemed to be holding. Shield at 50%. Well done, everybody. Great work. I really mean it. Obviously, I can't take all the credit, but I'm going to anyway. You would have been instant space dust without my help. Hit end, and we can wrap things up. And I'm done. I can't help thinking that I've forgotten something important. Let me see. More than 12 aliens equals dead. Shields below zero equals dead. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. Warning. Jump cord has reached. Red alerts. Once you've exhausted boring old yellow and orange, you'll encounter the real bad boys. Just one of which could mean instant death. Ah, like that one right there.
in space no one can hear you whine, you've just learned an important lesson. The cosmos is a dangerous place and it really wants you dead. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard indeed to avoid ending up just like Mon Capitan. There, is that better? I've restored the timeline back to before we started. Your precious crew is safe, for now. Feel free to destroy the ship on your own this time. See you around. It's been a blast, literally. <laughs>